As one of the fastest accelerating and most aerodynamic electric trucks ever created, the Tesla Semi continues to evolve with fresh upgrades aimed at lowering its drag coefficient even more in its newest version, preparing for full-scale production next year. To be honest, the Tesla Semi has long been one of Tesla's most underrated projects, mainly because very few units have been built since it first appeared almost nine years ago. There are several reasons behind this delay, but at last, the mass production setup is ready, and soon, anyone will be able to order a semi-truck, not just big logistics companies. The upcoming version will also cost less, thanks to key improvements revealed by Dan Priestley, the lead engineer and program development head for the Tesla Semi. Imagine a scenario where a massive electric truck could be built in just a few minutes instead of several months. Sounds unbelievable, right? But Tesla's latest manufacturing facility can actually make that a reality. The new production line is capable of incredible speed, and Elon Musk believes Tesla will eventually be able to manufacture millions of semi-trucks. He even said, we will probably make over a million, maybe millions, of the Tesla Semi. You will see them everywhere. They will also have the capability to be autonomous. Now that sounds like a bold claim. So, how exactly does Tesla plan to make the semi more efficient and more affordable at the same time? What makes this new production line such a big deal? Let's find out together. But before we continue, welcome to Amp Drive, your home for everything Tesla, EVs, and the future of technology. If you love exploring the latest innovations from Elon Musk, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss an update. From the very beginning, Tesla made it clear that the Semi was not just another truck. It was built to be a highway beast that could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds, even while hauling a full load. That is why Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holthausen, drew inspiration from Japan's fastest train, the legendary Shinkansen. And with the new aerodynamic updates, the Semi feels even more like the bullet train of the trucking world. Of course, not everyone is in love with the design, and that is fine. If you are one of them, drop a comment and tell us what you think, we read them all. Now, let's talk about the smaller performance tweaks and, most importantly, the new battery system that is coming to the Tesla Semi. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the long-range Semi uses an 800kWh battery pack built with high-nickel NMC cells to achieve its remarkable range. The short-range version, also known as the semi light, runs on lithium-iron phosphate cells instead. But the real game-changer is coming soon, Tesla plans to power the next generation of semi-trucks with its most advanced battery yet, the high-voltage 4680 cell. This high-voltage battery is all about the new 4680 technology. Each cell delivers up to 300 watt-hours per kilogram of energy density while cutting production costs due to its clever structural design. Even though Dan Priestley confirmed that the upcoming Semi Generation 2 will feature a smaller battery pack, that does not mean it will lose range or performance. In fact, the truck will maintain its long-distance capability, thanks to a 7% boost in efficiency from the new aerodynamic improvements. A smaller, more affordable battery means less weight, lower costs, and better profits for Tesla and its customers, a win-win situation. We have predicted for a long time that the Tesla Semi would switch to the 4680 battery, and it finally makes perfect sense. Why reserve Tesla's most advanced battery for the Cybertruck alone? The 4680 battery provides outstanding efficiency, performance, and affordability, everything a heavy-duty truck could need. Plus, since Tesla now produces these cells directly at the Nevada Gigafactory, battery production and assembly for the Semi have become faster, simpler, and more efficient than ever before. In the new version, Dan Priestley mentioned visual and structural design upgrades such as redesigned mirrors for better visibility and aerodynamics, along with the addition of drop glass. Right now, the Semi prototypes still come with traditional side mirrors. Each mirror includes three integrated cameras, combined with a monitor system that streams live video to dual 15-inch displays inside the cabin. This not only satisfies safety regulations in the United States but also enhances aerodynamics and provides drivers with a complete 360-degree view, no blind spots. However, 
For the next generation mirrors, Tesla might include even more cameras or perhaps smaller, smarter, and more aerodynamic designs. Dan Priestley hinted that this new setup could improve visibility while cutting drag further. Many fans still hope Tesla keeps some form of physical mirrors since they remain practical for large trucks. What do you think? Let us know your prediction in the comments below. One confirmed addition is the new drop glass feature. If you are wondering what that is, you are not alone. The driver's seat in the Tesla Semi sits right in the center, and while the camera system does a great job eliminating blind spots, drivers still need to interact with gates or checkpoints. Previously, they had to open the entire door just to talk or hand over paperwork. The drop glass, likely a small lowerable window, solves this problem, making day-to-day -day trucking much smoother. Over the past few years, several refreshed Tesla models have introduced a stylish light bar, a sleek, futuristic design element Elon Musk seems to be turning into a Tesla signature. According to a report from Next Big Future, the updated Tesla Semi now features redesigned headlights with a modern LED light bar, a possible sleeper cabin for long-haul comfort, and improved aerodynamics with a drag coefficient of 0.36, about 30% better than traditional diesel trucks. It also comes with a tri-motor powertrain, giving it a 7% efficiency boost. These refreshed headlights make the truck look even more distinctive and futuristic. The light bar will not replace the main headlights, which remain positioned below to illuminate the road. Altogether, the design looks perfectly in tune with Tesla's evolving style language. Another highly anticipated feature is the upcoming sleeper cabin. This is no longer just a rumor, it is happening. Dan Priestley himself confirmed that the semi will eventually come with a sleeper cab, allowing drivers to rest comfortably on multi-day trips. This update might be the most exciting one yet for the next generation semi. Driver fatigue is one of the main causes of highway accidents, and a proper sleeping area will make a huge difference. While it is not yet clear whether Tesla will extend the cabin backward or redesign the interior, this update shows Tesla is taking long-haul practicality seriously. Next Big Future also noted that the new semi could achieve a drag coefficient of 0.36, a solid improvement over the previous 0.40 rating. Better aerodynamics mean faster acceleration, improved range, and higher efficiency, all key advantages over diesel competitors. One of Tesla's major strengths lies in its simplicity. The semi's electric motors and battery pack are far less complicated than a diesel engine, which means fewer moving parts, lower maintenance, and faster assembly. Elon Musk once said he aims for an annual production rate of 50,000 units, and while that may not happen next year, it is certainly possible within a few years. Based on current progress, Tesla could reach 20,000 semi-units by the year 2026. Another major leap for the semi-generation 2 will be the addition of supervised full self-driving. Many people doubt a massive truck could safely drive itself, but Tesla is pushing ahead to introduce this feature with the 2026 model. This aligns with Tesla's mission to modernize freight transportation and make trucking more efficient. This update is not just another software tweak, it could redefine the entire heavy-duty logistics industry. With supervised self-driving, the semi could operate for longer periods with less driver fatigue. The driver would still remain inside, monitoring the system, but would not need to manually steer or accelerate for most of the trip. Tesla's combination of advanced sensors and artificial intelligence enables the semi to process real-time data across complex routes, from highways to loading docks. Of course, there are challenges. Introducing full self-driving in an 80,000-pound truck will raise safety and regulatory questions. Even small incidents could cause public concern and legal complications. Beyond safety, there is also the long-term concern about jobs. If autonomous technology becomes widespread, it could change how the trucking workforce operates. Tesla must work closely with regulators to ensure a fair and safe transition. If Tesla succeeds, the semi-generation 2 could become the symbol of a new transport era, one where goods move continuously and efficiently with near-perfect accuracy. But if things go wrong, it could also slow down industry adoption of automation. Looking ahead, 
the next generation semi will likely have a higher price tag at launch, which makes sense considering all the new features. Between full self-driving, improved aerodynamics, and the advanced 4680 battery, manufacturing costs will naturally increase. However, as production scales up, costs will drop, just as they did with the Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla has mastered the art of cost reduction through volume efficiency. And honestly, even with a slight price increase, the added value is undeniable. A truck that can operate nearly non-stop, with minimal maintenance and reduced energy consumption, will save logistics companies enormous amounts of money in the long run. For years, the Tesla Semi has been viewed as one of Elon Musk's most complex and ambitious projects. Fewer than 1,000 units are currently on the road. Unlike Tesla's cars, the Semi has never had a fully automated assembly line, most are built by hand, which slows down production and raises costs. Recently, drone footage from Giga Nevada revealed a huge press machine being transported from Giga Texas to Nevada using multiple trailers and tractor units. This indicates Tesla is installing a new Giga Press designed specifically for the semi. This marks a turning point for electric truck manufacturing. The Giga Press is one of Tesla's most revolutionary innovations. It can produce massive one piece aluminum structures in minutes. Traditional automakers require hundreds of parts and welding steps, which take hours. The Giga Press eliminates this by forming an entire frame section in one go. Elon Musk once said, you cannot truly understand Tesla unless you understand the Giga Press. However, adapting this technology for a heavy-duty truck is not easy. The semi is much larger and heavier than a car or pickup. It must carry huge loads over long distances while remaining strong and durable. Previous Giga Press models could not handle components this large, forcing Tesla to use slower traditional assembly methods. Now, with a specialized Giga Press made for the semi, everything changes. This could be Tesla's biggest diecasting machine ever, capable of producing the truck's structural parts in a single cycle. It could allow Tesla to manufacture one semi every 20 minutes, which aligns with Elon Musk's goal of reaching 50,000 trucks annually by 2026. This will not only solve Tesla's biggest bottleneck, production speed, but also cut costs and errors. One-piece castings improve precision, reduce weight, and enhance durability. They also make the semi more rigid, smoother, and easier to maintain. Tesla's investment in this new process represents a major leap in industrial manufacturing. If the Model Y revolutionized cars, the semi could transform trucking. No other manufacturer, not even giants like Daimler or Volvo, has attempted large-scale die casting for heavy-duty trucks before. With its 4 million square foot Giga Nevada facility, Tesla now has the space and infrastructure to run a fully automated production line dedicated solely to the semi. Once this system runs at full capacity, producing tens of thousands of trucks per year will no longer be a dream. This innovation will have a massive impact. The Giga Press can reduce frame production time from hours to minutes, eliminate hundreds of assembly steps, and ensure consistent quality. As production becomes faster and cheaper, Tesla can lower the price, making the semi more accessible to transport companies. From a technical perspective, the Tesla Semi is already unmatched. With a 500-mile range, 0 to 60 acceleration in 20 seconds, energy use of about 1.7 kWh per mile, and charging from 0 to 80% in only 30 minutes, it is a serious engineering achievement. Paired with the 4,680 cells, it will be lighter, more efficient, and more affordable. If all goes according to plan, the year 2026 could mark the beginning of true mass production for the Tesla Semi, historic milestone for global transportation. Imagine a future where fleets of electric trucks move goods silently and cleanly across continents. Every semi on the road replaces a diesel truck, preventing tons of emissions each year. This is a huge win for both the planet and the economy. So, what do you think about a world filled with zero-emission trucks? Do you think Tesla's price will drop once large-scale production begins? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this detailed breakdown, do not forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more exciting updates from Amp Drive. 
Thank you for watching, and see you soon.